Hey folks, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers and uh, all the uh, current subscribers. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm up to over 600 subscribers uh, now uh, starting from uh, zero. So that's uh, really amazing and uh, I want to thank everyone who's uh, subscribed and uh, everyone who watches the videos. Uh, fantastic stuff. Really appreciate that. Um, so I finally completed my uh, Iris Nebula uh, image. Um, it took seven clear nights to do and um, I uh, a lot of patience um, and a lot of processing time uh, several hours of processing but I ended up with 26 hours of, uh, of data and I uh, was able to process it so let's go over to the uh, computer and have a look at uh, what I got All right, so this is the data that I collected, and uh, this is a stacked uh, RGB of uh, the uh, uh, red, green, and blue channels. Um, I also have my luminance channel here, which I used. And uh, initially I had uh, spent, uh, what was it, three, four nights, probably three nights, I guess. It was three nights that I had spent, and um, I got uh, about 12 hours of total data, and uh, that resulted in this image here, which I had uh, uh, previewed actually uh, in a, another video um, as to how things were coming along with uh, the Iris Nebula um, uh, acquisition. And this was pretty uh, pretty good, but it still needed a lot of data. Um, a fourth night, um, I was able to add some more data and got uh, brought it up to 16 hours, uh, which was which was getting there. Um, I still wanted to do more, so I ended up uh, with uh, a few more clear nights uh, being devoted to the Iris Nebula, and um, I was able to go from from this. This is the uh, the data before it was processed, and this is the 12 hours of. Uh, of data so I was able to get it up to 26 hours of data and processed I was able to produce this image here which uh, shows a lot of the intergalactic dust the dark dust around the the nebula itself and uh, you can see the wonderful blue color coming out in the uh, nebula core and the central star there that illuminates all of that nebulosity uh, really quite a fantastic image Quite a fantastic image, not to toot my own horn, but um, this is the longest that I've ever actually uh, done in terms of uh, an image uh, acquisition. I've never done 26 hours before. I've done the, the typical two hours or five hours or uh, I've even done uh, 12 hours and, and I think I've hit 16 hours at one point, but um, I, I can't remember what image that was specifically, but I know for sure that I've, I've gone for 12 hours. And uh, in that, in this sense here, this is a really fantastic image because this dark dust is actually very faint and hard to capture, hard to make, make it pop um, in, in the images, unless you acquire a lot of data or you uh, are shooting from uh, a very dark site um, a Bortle you know two or three site probably is uh, ideal um, uh, or, or better than that even but um, for what you know most people have access to a Bortle uh, two or three sky is is a possibility um, I know the uh, the cottage uh, uh, that we have um, there's a Bortle 3 sky up there, so I know what that looks like, and I've imaged from there, and uh, the contrast with uh, with images and uh, data is uh, quite uh, quite substantial, quite different. But this, this data here um, was shot from my backyard in the city, and um, in Bortle 6, 7 skies, and uh, in, some, in some part of this acquisition, initially when I started imaging um, earlier in the night, because um, I would let it go all night on, on the Iris Nebula. When I started initially started imaging early in the night, it was actually shooting into Bortal 8 sky, um, which is directly over the city core. Um, and then it would gradually shift and move higher up into the sky, and that's where I get into my Bortal 6 and 7 sky uh, for the remainder of the night. Um, so if you consider that this was shot in a lot of light pollution um, using... Uh, Optolong uh, LRGB filters 
Um, this is a really, really good image, a really fantastic result that I'm very happy with. Um, certainly uh, a lot of detail to be had there and I'm really happy with the intergalactic dust uh, being able to pop out as much as it uh, is and uh, I really uh, find the Iris Nebula. I've shot the Iris Nebula many times uh, before and um, I actually did a comparison um, with uh, shooting from uh, the city and shooting from a rural location which was a dark site for the astronomy club that I was with um, and uh, just to see what kind of difference uh, the image uh, uh, quality was like and you can check that out on my website actually if you go there and uh, do a search I'll leave uh, I'll leave a link to that uh, that particular blog post um, down in the description but um, that was an interesting uh, uh, test as well to see uh, what type of uh, difference there was between shooting in a, a darker site versus uh, shooting from the city so now I didn't use the same equipment that I did for this this is uh, this is a lot higher end equipment that I was using uh, for shooting um, this particular image here so and I think it's also interesting to see uh, what an image begins like how it starts out um, with the separate channels the the luminance channel and the the red and the green and the blue channels and combining into an RGB channel which you then take that and you you add in you, you process it and you add add in your luminance to it and you end up with um, an image like this from it it's quite uh, extraordinary I think uh, when you uh, look at the the beginnings of, of an image uh, versus the end result um, so if you're interested in uh, how I processed this um, I'm going to show that next and uh, you can follow along with that uh, as you like um, it's just going to be a fast forward of the processing uh, just to keep it short and uh, you'll see the various steps that uh, I went through as I uh, processed the image which is a fairly typical workflow uh, there was a few deviations that I took um, just in uh, uh, things I ran into with the image that I wanted to try and work through or tweak and uh, so uh, but for the most part my my workflow remains the same in how I start from uh, beginning to end um, but this uh, the short uh, uh, quick time-lapse will allow you to see how I process that 